hello everybody. Uh, how are you today? Um, do you have a good sleep last night? Uh, I hope everyone's answer is yes, because the better you sleep, the happier you will be. Uh, so that's the main idea of my speech today. Uh, the importance of sleep to general well-being. So maybe you will be questions about the, the what the relationship with general well-being and sleep. So firstly, what is general well-being? Um, we know that well-being or welfare uh, is a general term for the condition of the individual or group uh, with, for ex example, their social, economic, uh, psychological, uh, spiritual, and medical state. Mm, high well-being means that, uh, in some sense, mm, the individual or group's experience is positive. So, well, low well-being is associated with negative, so that the general well-being is a kind of index which can show your state of mind is positive or negative. Uh, the general well-being, uh, so secondly, we will need to, uh, we, we need to sleep every day and we sleep uh, one third of our lives. So sleep is very important for, uh, for each person, but nobody should ignore the effect of it. So sleeping well will make people feel comfortable and, uh, and healthy in physic and mental. So it is obvious that sleeping well make people feel comfortable in physic. So because everyone knows that when we sleep, we will uh, relax our bodies. Um, the sleep times could help us to relax and recover our organs just like our brains, our stomachs, and the in intensives. Uh, so if we don't use the sleeping time to recover our organs, our body will be uncomfortable day by day because we will miss the, the best chance to uh, recover ourselves. So uh, sleeping is integrated integral to the health and well-being of all people. Uh, sleep disorders are on the rise and affect millions of dollars in America. Said Mary Ellen Wells from Never Diagnostics and Sleep Science School of Medicine. Uh, misconceptions of, about sleep are prevalent and the negative effects uh, of poor sleep on society are underrepresented. Uh, poor sleep um, increase human productivity and performance and increases mortality and morbidity. Uh, the National Sleep Foundation estimates that uh, poor sleep costs American billions of dollars each year and uh, greatly compromises uh, com the public safety and health. So uh, the poor sleep could make people feel negative with sociality and the general well-being will decrease indirectly. Um, so now we have already known that sleep can affect general well-being indirectly. Now we will talk about some direct factors. Uh, sleeping well will make people feel comfortable in mental. I think everybody will be in energetic after a comfortable sleep uh, and everybody should experience this joy. Uh, if we wake up with a good condition, of the day will be very happy and we will have a, we will be positive to we it seems that we will be very positive to face every challenge in the day. So uh, we will so the general if we, if we be positive our general well being will be increased. So the importance of sleep to general well being is obvious. We sleep well, we feel comfortable and positive and the general well-being will be increased. But we feel we sleep badly and we will feel terrible and negative, our general well-being will be decreased. So uh, for our health, we should try to increase the quality of our sleep and to be positive. And, and I think this is the best way to enjoy our beautiful life.